Hello again, YouTube. This is The Truth Man giving you the truth. And on this video, I want to talk about 304s. And listen, I'm going to say the word because I've heard people saying all type of stuff and their videos are still running in the algorithm. I'm starting to think that somebody is manually, um, the people they don't like, not letting them get their views because I heard I heard some stuff on Cheek Slaying headquarters that was just playing out. It was a video. It was a clip that he was replaying. Them guys were saying all type of stuff. They was using the N word, everything, and that video is still up. So we finna talk a little bit on this one. I want to talk about how. And this, I promise you, this is going to be short. I'm going to try to keep it within five minutes or so. These women be having excuses for being hoes. Listen. Now, disclaimer. I'm not saying that every woman is lying about things that happened in their childhood. What I am saying, though, is every, a lot of us have experienced trauma. Like, we've experienced different types of trauma whether it be car accidents, broken bones. Uh, some of you have experienced uh, things with sex uh, of the sexual nature. But a lot of people are lying about this stuff, man. Like Prince, Prince ain't here. Prince can't say what happened between him and Sinead O'Connor. Like this Me Too stuff is some accuracy to it. Some of these people are telling the truth. All these cases need to be investigated. But the women in 2022, a lot of them are lying, capping. They're capping. Like they're looking for every excuse in the book because most hoes don't want to be classified as hoes. Most adulteresses, they want to re repackage it into calling it entanglements. Or, oh, well, if you would have showed me affection... I wouldn't have sucked his wing ding. That you sucked his wing ding because that's what you wanted to do. It has nothing to do with anything that the guy that you claimed to love or be with did. I've even heard somebody bring up some tw from 25 years before to justify something they was doing some years back. It's just ridiculous. That's why you got to respect somewhat, at least a little, a woman who is direct about what how she gets down. Well, are you, how many how many bodies you got? What's your body count? Uh, two, but it's really 22. Then down the line, you start seeing dudes. Oh, man, you know, I had her back and such, 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 such. And you'd be like, she told me that she never did X, Y, and Z. She lying, man. Don't believe that. And then some guys will bring it to them, and they'll be like, trying, trying to change their story up. That's why I just, just be, guys, just be honest with these women. Just tell them your intentions right then and there. Do not try to love women. You know, don't mistreat them. Don't try to go the love route. The Bible don't say nothing. The Bible tells you to dwell with them in an understanding manner. That's 1 Peter chapter 3, New American Standard Bible. It says dwell with your wives in an understanding manner. But is that talking about staying with them when they have entanglements? No. Is that talking about you you come home and she got her tongue somewhere? No. You gotta you don't know, man. I'm telling you. Out some of y'all guys out there that might hear this. If your wife cheated, man, it's over. Let her go. Cause what's gonna come next? A bunch of arguments, a bunch of disrespect. You don't do this no more. You don't all these excuses. For a horse behavior. And now they like to blame other people and create stories because of the sexual life that they choose. That they choose. 
Oh, it's this person for he did this. This person did that. No, you're true. Nobody's making you do anything you're doing right now. Nobody's make that. That's now I'm not saying that it can never happen. But what I'm saying is the majority of the people that say this stuff, they making excuses. They making excuses because they know that there's something they're doing is wrong and it feels good to them and they don't want to stop. That's all that is. So just understand, man, that sometimes relationships go bad. It's not always the guy. It's the girl. She either was a hoe, is a hoe, or wants to be a hoe. Sometimes that's just the way it is. They just want new people. They want they want a guy to you you start working. They at first at first they'll appreciate you. Then they'll say, Oh, you never here, you at work all the time. When they say that, you know that her mind is starting to go elsewhere. And if you pay attention, you'll see. If you pay attention to her phone, you pay attention to her emails, you pay attention to her texts, she'll be trying to blame you in some cases because she wants to impress another guy. She wants to see what it's like to be with other guys. But she'll never admit this. She'll never admit that she's at fault. It's always you. See, that's how they make themselves feel better when they want to do some things. When they want to get real down and debaucherous with other guys, they'll make these excuses. Oh, you oh, you don't you don't show no affection. Oh, you this, you work too much. That's, that's blah, 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 blah. All it is, man, is they want freedom. But they want this this what they want. This this what the wayward Jezebelic Lilith Delilah type of woman wants they want to be compensated at the max so if you run into financial problems then that can cause some of the wandering too they want to see if the next man will bring them glory more than you did well and then they get to talking about you uh that's why it's if I got something to say, I'm going to say it right up front. I would never, like, like I'm not going to be the type if me and my wife were to get divorced. Now I want to bring up this, that, and the other. Now it's going to already be in the air, if anything. I'm not going to, I would never be the type, well, uh, well, she wasn't doing this. She wasn't doing that. But that's what a lot of them do. Oh, well, uh, he... He he was doing this. He was doing this bad. He was doing that. But it was real. You know what it really is? They want to, oh, 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 new man. Oh, it's yours, new man. Oh, new man. Give it to me, new man. Give it to me. That's what they want. That's what they want. They get dissatisfied quicker than we do. A man can be hitting the same thing for years. But them... After they move in, and one of my cousins just was talking about this. He said six months to a year, they already switching up. And that's the way it is. That's why you got people saying no cohabitation, no marriage, no kids. Because you can expect this switch up is not uncommon. These lies are not uncommon. This ain't the first time women, oh, well, uh, the reason why I slept with 100 dudes is because when I was 13, my next door neighbor put his hand by on my leg. When I get my church again, if I ever do marriage counseling, they best bet. You come in there, you better come with the full truth. Because if I find out anything, if you're trying to play the victim and you're not the victim, they're going to hate me. They're going to hate me. So I'll be like, whoa, 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 wait a minute. You did what? You cheated on them. Oh, well, this, I looked right to them right then and there. 
she cheated on you, man. You, t this, this meeting might as well be over. Why you can't stay with her? What kind of marriage counseling you done? Nah, 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 nah. I'm not. This is over. If I find out a man's wife got wing ding down, ain't no marriage counseling. It's over. I'ma end it right then and there. It's over. It's over. Well, the reason why I cheated, cause he was working 16 hours. Get the flip out of here. Get out of here, man. Save it for another David. Not this David. Get out of here, man. Cause see, here's the thing. This is how I believe men mess their relationships up. By lying. Not being up front. That's one. Having drug issues. Two. I don't believe that financial issues should mess a marriage up. I think that that's something that you work through. You don't start cheating. You don't start flirting or anything like that because of financial issues. Drug issues is different. Like if he get on drugs, man, that's a reason to consider but what you women need to do you need to get him to give you your papers because if if okay this is how it works this is what people don't the preachers don't tell y'all about marriage you can't divorce even if he gave you your papers if you y'all divorce for anything with you not doing right it ain't gonna count with god but if he had like a drug problem or he was trying to kill you or something like that. And he gave you your papers. The most high I honor your next marriage. But unsubmissiveness, hope withholding sex, you 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 got knocked back by somebody else and now you don't want to do nothing with him because you think the other dude was better. All that stuff. Anybody to get with you is going to be considered adultery and they're not going to get blessed. They're not going to get blessed. Like with God, when you divorce, you have to have when especially when you're a woman, you have to be submitted to his leadership and he just was doing stuff that can't be correct. Then you'll be free to remarry if he gave you your papers. Like if he sleeps with another man's wife. Or he has a drug problem or something like that. Something that, that can literally cause physical harm to you or the kids. The Most High knows everything. He'll honor another relationship. But what, what y'all do, y'all women do, is y'all be trying to be hypergamous. That don't count. It don't count. Do you think you can fool God? Everything you think, everything that's in your heart and mind, when you talk to God, he can see it all. When I talk to God, he can see it all. You can't fool God. He knows exactly if you having problems in your marriage, he knows exactly why. That's why when I talk to God, I just be honest. Because I already know he know everything. And I know I can't get past none past him. And it's disrespectful for me to even try. He know me. But some people, they get into this Jesus of Nazareth and all of this stuff where you only see the niceness. And they begin to kind of shortchange the Most High. Thinking, oh, I, I'm sorry. Oh, I did it because I was weak. No, you did it because you have been touching yourself, thinking about this man for months or years. And you finally... Got a chance to be alone with him, and he smashed you. Don't lie to God. Be honest. You've been after this dude. Y'all been at barbecues, family gatherings. He a friend of the family. You've been liking him for a long time. You've been jocking him even while you was married. Y'all know women have wet dreams too, right? But then they'll finally act on it and they want to bring up stuff that happened when they was a kid. This excuse, that excuse. He wasn't doing this. He wasn't doing that. You always wanted that dude. Stop lying. That's why you did it. 
Stop lying. And then this is what they do too now. now I, I be talking to a lot of guys on YouTube. I've heard a lot of stories, man. Like I'm I'm the comments king. Like I be talking to people from all over the world in the comments. And what else, a lot of these guys are saying is basically that their a lot of their women are trying to blame them for stuff that they do. You can't blame nobody else. These women will literally roll on the bed, put their legs up, and let him slide their panties right off. And then open up. I don't mean to be graphic. I'm just saying. I ain't saying nothing against no guy, Len. This ain't for kids anyway. And the whole time he's doing it, they're showing their enjoyment until they get caught or until they get found out. Now it's everybody else's fault but theirs. Listen, some women is hoes because that's what they, and I'm not even saying 304s because it's not even fair if they censor me. The stuff that people be saying on YouTube, the P-U-S-S-Y word, all this stuff, y'all don't like me, it's not fair. For you to try to censor me with the stuff that these other guys be saying. Listen to Kevin Samuel. Kevin Samuels asked the dude, did he have a big D-I-C-K? And that video is still up. So, I shouldn't get censored for the stuff I'm saying on here. But these women will get rocked. Then they'll do something with their husband. Some of them will do it just so they, because they know the other dude done bust off in them and they might be pregnant. So they'll try to do something with their husband. If your wife or your girlfriend has been withholding sex from you, and now all of a sudden she's, <laughs> no, don't do it. Give it a, give it some time. Let's see. She might be trying to blame you, and don't accept no pregnancies without DNA tests. Know what day and age you living in, man. Know what day and age you living in. So, they'll literally... You'll be like, something just felt different this time. You know what felt different this time? Because let's be honest, man. Some guys, you ain't going to be bigger than every guy. I'm not going to be bigger than every guy. Some guys going to have you beat. Some guys going to have me beat. Some guys going to have dude A beat. Some guys going to have dude B beat. And if the dude to get to your wife had you beat, then guess what? You going to have an easier time, buddy. Zoop. You'd be like, something seemed different this time. I don't know what was going on. Are you trying to do, you don't trust me? Should he trust you? You lie about everything. And watch this. When they lie about small stuff, don't even, you might as well not even ask them about anything big because they're going to lie. If it's something you need to know, tell them to take a lie detector test or get a private investigator because they're not going to tell you the truth man especially if they're trying to act like they're better than other women to me i would say you have the one percent unicorns and you had a 99 percent everybody else everybody else one percent are unicorns might be loyal, might be favorite, might never did nothing telling the truth. All the rest, if you fish hard enough, it's going to be something there, man. Whether it's an emotional affair, whether it's a backseat kiss and then she stopped and, and left, it's going to be something. Met up with this dude. He put his... We grown, man. Let's just be honest about this stuff. But I'm going to close this video out. I'm going to get back to work. These hoes be having excuses. And I'm a preacher. And I'm going to talk. I'm going to tell the truth. All that little sugar coat, not me. Oh, you're supposed to be a preacher. Da -da. Is sex a part of life? Yes or no? Is sex a part of life? Oh, you shouldn't be talking. Yes, I should. Yes, I should. That's what's wrong with a lot of these preachers. They won't be honest, and then they'll end up 
be the one smashing. Well, uh, I went to, the, I joined this church and one thing happened and, 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 and I did this because you work too much and you, you, you told me I was this and but you did it because you wanted to. Bye.